Hey, I'm Kevin Franklin, lead designer on War Games here at 343 Industries. We're here in Seattle today looking at Halo 4. So talk a little about what's new when it comes to Halo 4 multiplayer. Big new additions. Uh, game modes. Um, and game mode scoring and ordinance, I would say, are the, the three biggest things you're going to notice right away. Um, with Infinity Slayer, we really redefined the Slayer experience uh, pretty much for the first time since, I mean, way back um, with Halo 1. And we're really happy with the changes. Um, players are now earning points not only for their team, but also for themselves. And they're going to be able to call in all sorts of awesome weapons. Um, we have new big vehicle modes. We have an all-new Capture the Flag experience. Uh, if you're a free-for-all junkie, we've got Regicide, where you can go be the king, kill the king, and and go crazy on your friends. Um, and especially with, and then Spartan Ops, you can go the very next minute and play co-op with them. So it's uh, it's monumental the size of our our new multiplayer experience, and uh, I'm super happy to be showing it off. Talk a little about the Spartan Ops experience and what that's going to bring to four-player co-op. Definitely. With Spartan Ops, you've got five weekly missions every week that you can do co-op with your friends. Um, and these missions are real missions. You've got a video that goes along with them. Um, it's four-player co-op, and sort of like every Friday night, you can load up with your buddies, um, get through these five missions, and they're all different each week, and, and sort of follow the story of the Infinity. And then right afterwards, you can jump on and kill each other in war games. Uh, which is our competitive portion. Yeah, speaking of war games, one of the big new features here is Dominion. Talk about what that's all about. Dominion is all about bases. Uh, you've got two teams, and they're fighting over these three bases. And you're gonna, your teams are going to get points for capturing them, fortifying them, and resupplying them. These three big actions really define what you're going to be doing in the mode and uh, how your team is going to get points, get weapons, get vehicles, um, and sort of own this map with these bases. Uh, it's a really unique experience. It took us a long time to develop. Um, we built the bases from the ground up, and they really are big feature and focal points in the map. Uh, when you first capture a base, you're going to go up, flick a switch, and it's going to start capturing. And once it's once the allegiance of the base belongs to your team, it's going to start fortifying. Fortification is amazing. It's you get ve weapons, vehicles, ordnance, like the whole base. I almost say it becomes alive. The base really just starts filling up. Um, You'll get shield doors to come up to make it harder for enemy teams to come after. The turrets will come up and start shooting enemies approaching the base. And it becomes this defensive emplacement that you want to hold to earn points. As you're earning these points, weapons are going to drop, and you're going to have to be faced with a decision. Do I defend this base and uh, with all these new weapons I've got, or do I go after the enemy bases and try to capture them all? Uh, you're going to earn points uh, through the resupply cycles and also through, from capturing and stealing enemy bases. You guys are designing four maps for Dominion, but talk about the two that you guys are showing here briefly. Definitely. We've got two maps. Uh, Exile is uh, one of my absolute favorites in Halo 4. It's a very large map with a, a big circle, sort of a donut, that you can take all the vehicles around. It's a big crash starship in the middle of, a, of an alien planet, and there's these um, sort of defensive uh, in, in placement set up by the survivors, and they form as the basis for, for in Dominion. And um, while you're playing, the best things to look out for are the Scorpion and the Banshee, which are all new and back for back in a big way for Halo 4. And uh, yeah, go after those bases. In uh, Longbow, you've got much more entrenched bases. Uh, Longbow, one of the bases is on the high ground, and it spawns the Banshee, and then the other bases are on the low ground. So your team can kind of go after the risky high ground base and try to get a big push out of there, or you go for the two low ground bases and try to push up to the high ground base. It makes every game of Dominion a lot different, and um, I always see teams coming up with strategies or arguing over who gets to defend and who has to attack, or uh, who gets to take the vehicles. It, uh, but once they, it comes together and you see a team in full force attacking another base, it just it's amazing. Now across the board in multiplayer, uh, the Prometheans have new weapons and technology. What impact uh, will that have on the multiplayer experience? If you want to use a couple of, of examples of weapons, that'd be great. Yeah, definitely. Um, with Halo 4, once we had the Prometheans, we knew for sure that we could come up with some awesome new, um, new weapons for both the campaign, Spartan Ops, and multiplayer. Uh, I think the biggest, most impactful weapons you're going to see are the binary rifle and the incineration cannon. These um, will spawn in the world, or you can call them in through um, Infinity, or they'll get resupplied on uh, on the ordnance at, at the bases at some on some maps. Uh, then you have Forerunner Vision, which is a uh, Promethean Vision, I should say. I'll have to edit that Promethean Vision. That's a um, an armor ability that you can use that will let you sort of see where the where the enemies are on the map. This is sort of being integrated into the Spartan armor as an armor ability, so it's a really 
interesting fictional element and it also is an incredibly powerful armor ability in gameplay. Uh, we've also got the Bolt Pistol, which is a new um, pistol you can bring in your loadout system, and uh, the Forerunner Pulse Grenade, which is our, an older new grenade type. It's sort of, you throw it, it'll pop up and create a big sphere that drains enemy shields. So I think the unique part about it is that all this Forerunner technology is coming in in all different places and all different ways of the experience, and uh, it'll really change the way you, you play Halo 4.